Hi everyone, welcome back to Divinity Original 123. And uh... There's two young orc warriors here, I don't know if we're gonna fight them, but... Fuck it, go in. Go in? Oh, apparently we are gonna fight them. There's Cause there's like a dude here, there's a slave. Uh, I guess they don't like us. I don't know why. We're nice people, but... Yeah, you, you get your ass in here. I, I'm not gonna charm one of them, fuck it. Let's kill him. Oh yeah, oh baby. This is all about charging our ults. <laughs> <laughs> They're both stunned. <laughs> what is this right now? Is the game's the idea of a joke after that spider fight? Like, haha, look. These enemies are so tough. So now we get to, I guess, go into more Midor Strike because we're kind of approaching Hunter's Edge. So I'm sure Midor is now going to feel extremely bad. Well, yeah. Because that, that slave should recognize her immediately and go like, "Is that Midora? Is that Midora the Explorer? This is going to go terribly, so you know." Okay, good. You missed a couple. I'm it didn't hit the prisoner. Well, I mean, it I was, I was more afraid of it hitting the prisoner, honestly. It, it never does. It always hits enemies, though. Because it, if it doesn't hit us, why would it hit other random shit? And I like how you. I'm a dork. Can you take this one? You didn't even ask me to save it. <laughs> Maybe because I knew. Come on, Midori, you can do it. Come on, Midori, you can do it. Fucking cut him down in the prime of his life. There's a lot of potions here. Uh, looks like you got them all. All right, let's talk to the slave. Blessed may you be by all seven gods, dear champion. But for your timely intervention, I would have ended up in either an orcish cauldron or the goblin slave pen, whence these thugs were ordered to march me. Uh, how did you end up here? I'm from Hunter's Edge, a hamlet to the east of you. Heed my advice and stay well away from that pitiable place. For no human may walk there freely anymore. The orcs came in the night, and we stood as much chance as chickens would, locked in a hen house with a pack of starving wolves. Not to mention that our champion Medora had already abandoned us. <laughs> yep, he, he mentioned Medora. Those who escaped their initial frenzy, eluded their horrid hunger, were all enslaved. I myself was en route to be sold as a slave to the goblins. But those idiot orcs denied to pay a troll their eternal troll toll. Needless to say, a fight ensued. A fight that brute of a troll won with flying colors. We Merry Three were the only ones to escape the carnage and take in a bit of a breather. That is to say, the fight had made my orc guardians hungry once more. Had Pudgy Pete survived, it'd have been skinned and chopped by now. Regular devils, these orcs. Uh, I have some more questions for you. Go ahead. Uh, what do you, do you know more about the mines? Ask me not why it has been the nucleus of such strife. Right. For I haven't the foggiest. Uh, I'll take my leave. Thanks again for freeing me, dear champion. I'll make a dash for it to Sife. What did it say on Medora? And hope the undead there have grown slightly. Medor Medora apparently completely fire. abandoned them. So she's a bit of a she's a bit of a letdown. Well, aren't we all in the end? Uh, okay, I'm gonna go talk to this sad deer. What the fuck is going on up here? Archibald. Oh, that's the one we the have to talk to. casts a fearful glance at you. It opens its mouth as if to speak, but no words escape. What happened? Did you lose your voice? With great sadness in its eyes, the deer nods and points its head toward the east. Yonder dwells what took its voice, if indeed this animal is to be believed. Well, something took the uh, deer's voice. I gotta talk to Ar Archibald. Seems these trolls have been busy of late. Holy shit, poison slugs. Look! One of the alien aspect approaches. Go on, my boy. 
State the ancient demand. Ah, uh, um, a tall troll. Well nigh correct, my son, but not quite. Um, uh, a troll, troll. You come very close in your approximation of the venerable bit, my boy. But a tiny flaw distorts it still. Tap, tap, troll, troll. Capital, my son. Most excellent. I'm very proud of you, indeed. Now then, dearest wanderer of Lucula's leaf-strewn lanes, you have heard our inviolable command. Pay us trolls the toll that is our prerogative, and the bridge shall be yours to cross. Ah, uh, who are you two? I am Bridge Keeper Archibald, and this wee cherub is my dear son, Amadeus. I'm in charge of his education, and will see to it that one day he shall become the greatest bridge keeper ever to have voiced the hallowed tenet. Uh. So toll, yes, so he shall. So he shall indeed. I have some other questions for you. Ask them, and I shall answer. Well, let's discuss the Troll King. They say only one of your kind has ever met him, and even that is but a rumor. Maradino is the name this exception went by. The Sorcerer. Know you so quick that grimace of eccentric character. I was told he had a lair upon Lucula's desert plain. But have never seen proof myself. All for the better, I believe. For should he have stood in the presence of the king, his presence would have been snuffed decisively and brutally. Bang! With a bang indeed, Amadeus. What happened to these dead travelers? Those clubbed unfortunates over yonder. They did not pay the toll, traveler. And to be clubbed, I'm afraid, is the fate that indubitably befalls those who do not heed the infrangible doctrine that is troll toll. And why we must he pay at all? Because our king deems it equitable that we should do so. His word is law amongst us trolls, and by extension, anyone who travels through his lands, the woods of Lucura. Uh, he's got like, he's apparently got a bow. Okay, well, let's discuss the, the toll. Save it. Let's discuss the toll. Now then, my boy, please acquaint our aspirant bridge crosser with the quantity of the toll they must pay. The toll is one. one million gold coins. It's one million gold coins, Ken. No, we can afford that toll. Okay. Indeed, it is not, Amadeus, as you very well know. Greed is a vice, my son. It is a vulture most vile that preys on virtue. Cast it from your soul and restate the pecuniary levy we desire with all your heart's honesty. 1,350 coins, please, traveler. 1,350 coins. 1,350 now. Uh, you want a pet? I want a pet. Okay. I suppose 1,350 gold isn't that much to pay. Yes, I suppose you're right. Thank you very much indeed. You have been most courteous and forthcoming. Now then, what do we say, my boy, to the kind traveler who has sufficiently dispersed us? Uh, we say thank you. So, uh, thank you, traveler. But, Daddy... This is such a fool. I want to club some more. Amadeus, such a bore. I want to club some more. Have you been talking to that ne'er do well of a Bellegar again? Oh, please do forgive him, Wanderer. I shall have a sound word with this wee rapscallion, indeed. In the meantime, do feel free to cross the bridge. A troll's thank you, you have. Wholeheartedly. All right. Log updated. I guess we saw. I guess we finished some quests. I like father, like son. So we just paid the toll. That's it. That, that was the quest. Oh, this leaves the area. Huh? Oh, so it does. Where does it take huh. us? Let's, let's have a look. Actually, I, I want to go up east there, though. 
Because apparently the deer had a... The fuck? Sorry, I lagged. <laughs> Let's just have a look here quickly. Because we'll probably get a waypoint here too, so we don't have to ever come back up. What's the deal with this place? Find out next time on... Oh shit, Zigzags is here. I sense something here. A great darkness, yes, but more than that, a great power. Dear me, dear me, After what's what happening? We've been the void, the darkness. I'd say we can take Time lies and tatters. What the hell's going on? There's this place, this pit that lies to the north. It is a rift of chaos, an epicenter of a time and space devouring force. Void demons are besetting Rivalon, and the storms of chaos are shattering through our own dear homestead. Demons creep through the rift. They must all be destroyed. Oh man, demon! <laughs> oh fuck, dude! I can just feel like Joe. I'm getting hard. <laughs> Not just any demons. Void demons. They are impervious to attacks with weapons or magic that any creature of this world can muster. But they have one weakness, for their simmering presence has permeated this area through and through for a long time. Tenebrium, that is the answer. The black ore that is dark as the void itself. Arm yourself with this foul material, and you shall be able to shred their bloodstone that controls their portal. The rift is the portal through which the demons seep. There is blood magic at work here, and he who says blood magic says immaculates. A bloodstone fuels the rift, obliterate it, and the rift shall close. You're supposed to say the dialogue can't. I know, I'm sorry, I forgot. <laughs> what about the rift? How do I close it? I've scouted ahead of it and seen that three paths, or what passes for paths, lead to the center of the wasteland that lies before you. Continue. To the left <laughs> is an encampment of immaculates. Yes, they're but immaculates, but their weapons look sharp as shark's teeth. So don't barge in like cats at a dog's wedding. The central path is a big no-no too. Brimming with demons, I really wouldn't recommend it. Which leaves the right path, which may not be the right path at all, for it is deceptively calm along its trail and positively overflowing with magma. So basically I can offer you three options, all of them as appetizing as pig feed. And yet you'll have to swallow your portion whole. If not, the end of time will be swept into the void and rival on with it. How can the void beasts that are here on the homestead? They exist beyond the normal continuum of time. They are here. And they are sweeping through the winds of chaos at the end of ages, shredding what they find. Unless they are defeated, your home away from home shall sink into the maelstrom of oblivion piece by piece. I'll take my leave. Do what you can. My friend, do not falter. All depends on your prowess, and our homestead won't grow an inch until you've solved this dire matter. All right, Edna. Uh, oh, the door's here. By the looks of things, it seems we're heading towards Hunter's Edge, the town where I was stationed before I met you, Lot. Before we get there, you should know the whole yarn. What I saw there, why I fled. Yes, comrade. I fled a coward bearing the insignia of a sauce hunter. Uh, the last you mentioned the orcs invade your village. Are you ready to continue your tale? I think so, comrade. Even though you might never look at me the same way, I hope I won't lose you as compatriots. All right, tell us your tale. We, the villagers and myself, were corralled in the town square. 
The orcish queen sauntered into the middle, proud of the chaos she'd created. She screamed if we knew why they had come. Slowly, she approached me and leaned close, her hot, foul breath like fire on my face. With one hand, she clasped my throat. With the other, she reached into my pocket and pulled out the gem I'd taken from the orcs I'd killed earlier that day. I was a thief, she said. I'd taken something dear to her, and I had earned punishment. I thought she'd destroy me right then and there, but she did something worse. Ah, uh, she was after the bloodstone then. That's right, comrade. And I was soon to find out why. She brought forth one of her soldiers, a larger orc I'd never seen, and he was covered in black, gleaming armor. She placed the stone in his chest plate, and something happened. He transformed into something... Something I'll never forget. She made me watch. She sent villager after villager before the great transformed beast. He crushed them all, one by one, each more gruesomely than the last. He seemed to revel in the work. I could do nothing, comrade. I couldn't save them. I couldn't help them. I could only watch. But you escaped, didn't you? You went to find reinforcements. Us. And we've come to, to take back the village. Don't you see it's already over? Don't you see it's too late? These orcs weren't out for riches or land. They only came for blood. No. All that's left in Hunter's Edge is a debt to be paid, comrade. And I intend to collect it. Okay. Let's see where this waypoint is. Because uh, we'll come back here. Phantom Forest. All right. Let's go back because I want to fit. Like, we got ambushed by Zigzags and Medora, so get over here. We just leveled up. Did we leveled up? We all did. Oh, good. Except for Yahan because it's stupid. Fuck Yahan. No, he has high intelligence. You take that back. Alright. He's really smart. All right. I can't refute that. Alright, let's see. What, what, do I, what do I have for levels? Because I want to get some more bodybuilding, probably. Yeah, more body. Whoops, no, no, not armor specialist. We will, yeah, we'll just do body, bodybuilding. And, oh, we get another talent. I don't know if there's much here I want to get, though. So I think what we could do is we can actually spend these talent points on something in the uh, town, in the uh, end of time. Uh, unless there's something like really good here. Parry Master. Gives you 10% blocking chance while dual building. Oh shit! Oh, Mike! Mike, you're level 15 now, you get those abilities now! Oh yeah, you're right, actually. Dude, 10% blocking chance while dual building. Dude, should I do the RNG fucking blocking? You think? Also, as Johan, I wanted to learn it, so I can't quite do it yet. Because my pyromania is like not actually that high enough to do it, I think. No, it would not be. So, doesn't count for me, sorry. Fuck. Yeah. Rest in pizzas. Yo, do you think I should Rest get- Rest in pizzeria. Should I get- should I get blocking? Dude, I'm, I'm gonna get blocking, I don't care. Ten well, percent why do you even ask me then? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Fuck you, I'm Parry Master now. I'm not sure if that can- yeah, I have a chance of blocking melee and ranged it by wands. Alright, let's go. You legitimately have a chance to do that now? Yeah. <laughs> Just 10%. I, it, it was, I kinda hate you. It would be fucking memeing, like, honestly. I'll just, I'll just jump in the middle of them and then, like, block, like, fucking three times in a row. It'd be great. Alright, Bruce. Me salute you with true Olvoin spirit. Welcome. <laughs> you can tell me about yourself. I'm Bruce, Ram, Romer, and Reveler. Revel in what you ask. The beauty that is Dory. That is this sweet, nay, this cherubic cow. The cutest of her kind ever to have moved. So you fancy Doreen, do, do you? Why, yes. Do tell me. Have you ever beheld a bovine bell as elegant as her? No, for such a cow does not exist. 
would that I could partake in the privilege that boar of a bull enjoys. How cute and woolly her offspring would be. So the sheep wants to fuck a cow. To state the the Howdy. Lovely day for a romp through the forest, ain't it? Ha! Like hell. Goblins round here swarm as thick as flies round my cattle's asses. Put an axe in my bodyguard's face, one of them did. Right where his big drunken nose used to be. Nice animals you have. Aye, my latest set of merchandise. Joy to herd him that lot, until they crap all over your shoes, that is. Won't cost me fortunes on Boot Black's wages much longer, though. Bought him for cheap from Bursher back in the city, and I'm about to sell him dearly indeed in sacred stone. Full of lunatics, that place, or so I've been told. They'll slice these beasts from ear to ear the moment they can get their hands on them. Use the blood in rituals or some such. Lunatics, right? Madman. Tell me about yourself. So, you wish to partake in a polite little parlay about our respective prospects, purposes, and expectations in life, do you? Rotten, cotton picking nonsense, that. Are you leveling the door, by the way? She's got like two things there. Yeah, I'm thinking of what I want to do. Right. I'm Roy. I'm in the animal trade, and instead of knocking back cheap rye and silver gland, I'm stuck in a friggin' forest surrounded by totem-worshipping savages that want to use my privates for target practice. There, now you know it all. Let me ask you more questions. Must you? No, actually no. So this cad is leading these beasts to the slaughter. I say we slaughter him. Uh. Some of us enjoy a nice. They're just to be slaughter, although they seem oblivious to their fate. Can we talk to the cows? A shiny day to you. Delighted to make your acquaintance. You do know you're gonna be slaughtered in Silverglen, don't you? Dear me, slaughter, blood. This, this cannot be. We must do something. Maurice, darling, do something. No! Bit late for that, isn't it? Trust you to raise a moot point, Maurice. Oh, kind human, have mercy on us poor animals. Deliver us from certain death in horrid Silver Glen. Ah, uh, tell about yourselves. I cannot believe we are being led to our slaughter. Who would kill as lovely a cow as I am? I have untold gallons of the sweetest milk still in me. Apparently I'm a downer when I tell them they're about to die. My, I my. Implore how did I learn how to make Find a scraps? way to extricate us from this green- book I picked up. Why can't I talk to fucking Maurice? I implore you. Okay, fine, I'll talk to the sheep. Ahoy, traveler. Let me salute you with true ovine spirit. I'm afraid Roy's gonna sell you to a butcher. <laughs> Living lambs on a lavender eider down. Tell me it isn't true. Am I to go like a sheep to the... Well, you know the heart free. Please, help me. Ah. Okay, so... Now they know they're kind of fucked, but they're like, help me. Well, we can't do that. She's asked for her help. Well, why does she fucking... I'm gonna talk with Bunny. Sup, mate. Dude, God, dude, yeah. this is fucking... This is a chav rabbit. Dude, you need to listen to this guy. Listening. Who are you, sir, rabbit? I'm Tim Fred, mate. Badass buck. Wood? He's a chav. We say the sweet you should know about the death awaits you in Silver you Glen. So what? I ain't joining that party, mate. I'm off. Cheers and peace out. Peace out. Dude, that's the coolest driver I've ever seen. I want to be his friend. Later. Too bad he's leaving. I'm going to have damage buff him. Son of a bat out of hell. Damn it, I couldn't. Get he's too back. fast. Alright, well, let's, let's, see. let's talk to Roy about it. Well, well, well. The wee wabbit went away, eh? How wonderful! Blast your eyes! That cursed coney would have fetched me a pretty penny if it weren't for your meddling. These animals are destined to be slaughtered, haven't you? Haven't? Hadn't you rather release them? The fuck? What? You're soft of heart, are you? The poor deers shouldn't be killed. I should just give up on the gold they'll fetch me. Well. Say no more. Seriously. Shut it. 
You think I risk life and limb for a bit of beef and mutton? Either you pay me in gold, or you leave me alone before all this chatter attracts the damn goblins. You'll handle those animals or be your in blood end, beat you that will be used in these rituals. Poor Maurice. My intimidation is three, and I won. Fine. You can have them. God's damned highway robbers are everywhere these days. Here's hoping the goblins will skin ya. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. My animals. Rude dude. Dude, get the dude. Yeah, I'm leveled up. I know, he, I know he did. I immediately saw it. Alright. Dude, I just got infectious flame. Holy shit. But he's on the animals. Oh shit. That looks really nice. It has like an 8 turn cooldown though. Alright, that's the time. Let's see what the big deal is. It's infectious as well. Oh god. How agreeable it is to gaze upon you. You're free from Rory. You're safe. Or Roy, sorry, it's not Rory. My champion, I am in your debt. Maurice and I are infinitely grateful. May neither thine horns nor thine udders ever wither. Moo? Well said, my dear Maurice. Well spoken indeed. But what shall we do next? We can already travel with you. Now can we, kind hero? Perhaps we could seek those legendary pastures that nasty creature of a Roy described. They may well be real. For a man such as he hasn't the imagination to dream up such a lovely place. Though perhaps it is safer and more convenient simply to return to Sysail. Uh, should we, should we tell them to follow their dreams or go back to Sysail? Oh, I don't know, man. I'm going to say follow. Yeah, get over here. Get, get over here so you can participate in this. <laughs> follow their dreams sounds pretty amazing. Yes, follow your dreams. I had hoped you would and say you that. Get it. Oh, this oh, well. is dizzyingly exciting. Maurice Dumplin, let us embark on a thrilling adventure forthwith. Yeah. Ma Unfortunately, no cow sex for us. Yeah, what else did what else did, did someone get? leave an oven door open? Yeah, and also got another level up here. Feeling hot under the collar. What else should he get? You need to fear, oh, dude, dude. I can give him a trait called Demon. A character with Demon has 50% extra fire resistance, but you take a 50% penalty to water resistance. Holy shit! I mean, I mean, I, dude, I can't fucking. It, I, we it's gotta the do memes, it. right? We, we gotta do it. My precious. <laughs> the uh, memes, Jack. Dude, okay, he's he's gonna be Demon. I don't care. Okay, he's Demon now. <laughs> Holy shit, there's no way I wasn't gonna do that. Alright, I'm gonna also give him bodybuilding. Because I would like. Because we were getting fucked by everything. Okay, I didn't even get a look around here at all. Is there anything good around here that we need to look at or no? We just keep, continue to carry on. Actually, let's go talk let's to the deer. On. Let's talk to the deer first. Alright. You can just stay up there and I'll teleport up to you. I'll tell you what the deer wants. It's probably why he. He wasn't, uh, he wasn't talking. The deer casts a fearful glance at you with voice. great sadness. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, well, he didn't, he didn't change anything. We'll keep going. Let me find that fucking rabbit. Fucking just fucking said me, fucking rabbit. Oh, uh, there's like a little cavern up there. Yeah, yeah, there's a yeah. cavern, it's up right. Caravan, yeah. It's got like over there. I knew the rabbit's here again. I'll catch you yet. Stand back, puny human, or I shall see you with the eternal flames of the mighty drog. Fear the wind of my wings. Quiver before the might of my razored talons. I, I love fucking Pet Pal. Play his wings and talons, eh? You don't look like much of a dragon to me. Blasphemy! Do your imperfect eyes fail to recognize my true nature? A rabbit I may be without, but a dragon I remain within. If you're a dragon, why are you in a rabbit's body? Even an eternal creature of legend and myth needs a vacation from the limelight now and then. Sometimes it does one good to hop about among the clover without one's every waking moment remembered in song and story. Uh, good luck to you, Sir Rab Dragon. Be gone, weakling! <laughs> 
Did you, did you hear the last thing you said? Just, just fucking... <laughs> Be gone, weakling. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's the fucking best, dude. Oh, dude, all the animals are here. Dude, are, are they gonna get slaughtered again for some fucking reason? Different animals. Oh, are they? Oh, you're right. Alright, fine. What's... The bird. Quickly before my audience disperses, I can't seem to convince Mrs. Hollingsworth there to choose a tale. Would you mind doing us all the honor? I'd be harrowed to sing to you of Gracchus Rex, the last Source King. Delighted to sing of Astarte, the fallen goddess of the Source. Terrified to tell you of Babe Oape, the Hag of Death. I want to hear about Brachus Rex. Ah, and so sing I shall, Source Hunter. But I warn you, the legend of the king is less story than history. And as realities tend to be, this tale is far more fantastic than fiction. Brachus Rex, that most terrible of kings, that most evil of wicked worms. Hey, save. Defiler of lands, destroyer of cities and I don't think you're gonna care. Finally defeated by might, the noble source. Yeah, oh, cat. it is such a wonderful tale. Almost as lovely as the story of Sam and Maxine. Well, love my fleece and call me Bessie. It sure is great to fun socializing instead of scavenging. <laughs> For the first time in my life, I'm not even a little bored. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm trying to keep my mind on the story, but it's getting awfully hungry in here. Look at us. The stag lying down with the wolf. Did you ever think you'd see the day? For my part, I'll stick that carnivorous fiend if he casts a bad look my way. But as long as we've got Malbini's tales, I suppose we'll be just fine. One Not listening to the story, the oh, Do you hear it, friend? The forest music hums, buzzes, falls and rises like waves, like starlight through the atmosphere. Imagination, friend. It's imagination that transforms this music into the surreal. Perhaps more music can help you unlock your dreams. I do. One of my compositions could add some modicum of joy to your life. I love to hear the devil come I'd be so happy coming. to share this gift with you. If a portentous melody, yes. Listen closely, and perhaps you'll see your own future within its fugues. The music could change. Yeah, here we go. When last we left the deathly hag, she hovered over music the Did you hear the music change? Among the throng of it's beating up. Yeah, I did actually. Watching, waiting, uh, I'm scared to go here too far left because this, this, this is the sandstorm's back. What's over here? The sandstorm. Is it over there? No, it's, it's it, there's a hill in the way, it's fine. I can only hope this oh, you're right, there is a bit over here. Oh no, no, it's not. Closer she drew as the counselor's breath rattled. Oh, yeah, this person. She bent. It's <laughs> oh, 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 very sorry. I, I shouldn't laugh. It's just next God's Day is going to be very eventful for the likes of you. You, prof you profess to see the future? Profess? Hardly. Who can stand those dried up old windbags with their podiums and their gavels and their big curly wigs? Wait, what were we talking about? Ah, yes, Source Hunter. I do not profess to see the future. I simply do. I am the knower of secrets, the conveyor of fates, and have been since the age of two. The source. All right, can you tell me about my future? That depends. How much have you got? Holy Choose shit, nothing that much. carefully, Source Hunter, for I can only consult the heavens How much? for you a single time. A lot? One mustn't become too greedy regarding fate. No, no. A glut of foresight can drive one rather batty indeed. All right, I'm gonna pay the max amount and save it. So we'll just load it when it's shitty, okay? I'll give you 3750 gold. Ah, I see you place no small value on the opinions of the stars. Very well. Let us see what the cosmos has in store for you, Source Hunter. I see. Oh heavens, my word, it is. It is he. I see you standing before him, cowed in his magnificence, and he, oh, he's simply beautiful. 
But you... You face him with your weapon raised. You demand to release what he's captured. My eyes, Sir Hunter. I cannot bear to look at him any longer. No, no. He dives toward you. Oh, he's terrible. He's beautiful. He's... 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 Enough! Enough, enough! Away from here! Away! Who are you to bring such terror into my humble camp? Away! No! Dude, you took all my money. My fucking money back. What? You fucking bitch? <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> Pretty much. She stole her money, dude. Do you know how, do you know how far? No, you know how wait, wait. You for it? We got like 50k. <laughs> it's the fucking point of it. You, you know, you, you know, you know what? If you can't, if you can't drink a large health potion, then I won't spend 4,000 gold on a shitty fucking fortune. You know, it might mean something later. What have you this. got against fortune? If you meet any wanderers, send them our way, won't okay. you? Yeah, I won't send them your way. All right. What have we not seen so far? Oh, dude, there's a chest yeah, up here. Yeah, there's a chest up there. Where are you? Chest up where? I'm, I'm going to it right now. Teleport to me. You're gonna you're gonna see a sandstorm there. It's gonna trigger you. Chest. You get this fucking mushroom that you ignored. Yeah, fuck the mushroom, dude. I got like a shit ton of those. I, I'm gonna go to get the beehive. Yeah, nothing in the beehive. You know what, just for that, you just you fucking got the beehive, I'm not gonna... It's terrible. It was worth getting slowed. I'm showing, I'm showing that fucking Chester's boss. I wanna explore this area over here, the fucking... There's a fucking... <laughs> butthole. There's, there's, another, there's another rabbit here to talk to. Get over your fucking rabbit. Oh, it's Drog again, Never mind. Fuck you for Drog. Not talking to you. Oh, you already got the decay mound, I see. Oh, it's like, I probably should Wait. deal with my armor problem. Actually, what am I fucking doing? Like, running after you like a fucking pleb. Why don't you just go trigger some dialogue now? Is this what you normally do? Maybe we already have. Oh, what the hell is this place? There's a prisoner there. Oh, there's a, dude, there's a chest there. I, I can get that, though. I just wonder if I can teleport over there. Target is out of sight. I probably can teleport you, though. It's like, a, it's like a this shit in the way, though. Uh, I'm trying to think. You know, we could get to it from the other side. Holy shit, dude. Look at all the fucking shit that's on that side. Yeah. That looks amazing. How do we get over there? Uh, dude, there's like a fucking huge thing in the way of this. What the hell is this place? I want to get over there. I think we Me have too. to. I think we have to go through the fucking sandstorm, though. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Or oh, maybe man. not. Now there's like a way portal shrine there. Alright, you wanna try and see if we can cheese it into there? Do I? Of course you do. It's what I live for. Uh. Put me in hell. Out of no, I constantly can't see any 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 place to put you. Hmm. Oh wait. It, it, I think it's a, a big invisible wall in this river, so I don't think I can actually send you anywhere near it. I'm gonna scan around here for a bit with my arrow. Maybe I can find a. I don't think so. Because if I can shoot it, that means yeah, actually there is there does appear to be an invisible wall. Yeah. The same. That's weird. So we have to go like somewhere else. I I kind of uh, is that the way to go? No. I mean, there's another. We can follow a road up, kind of a thing. So we'll maybe follow it around. But I think that's what we'll do. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Okay. It, it does feel like we meant to approach it from another side. I, yeah. I, I, I don't think it's a sandstorm way. I think it's the other way here. Well, maybe. 
Maybe we can come, come over a dungeon there. Because how else will we get up there? Well, I'm going this way, uh, and I'm seeing... I'm just following a road here. That's the bridge to... Oh, maybe that's, that's definitely not it. Because that's the bridge... Yeah, you're right, actually. That's fucking weird, dude. I don't know where the fuck I am anymore. I'm coming back to you. It's scary. <laughs> I... Oh, there, there's a cave here, actually. I can see a cave. It's an immaculate cave. How, how big is this fucking... Let's just go back to this town and huge. become immaculates, right? Do you want to become immaculates? Because we keep bringing the fucking combat of immaculates. Let's just go be immaculates and then deal with it. I don't know. I'm, I'm, just, I'm having a look around. I'm just seeing if there's another way in. Yeah, there, there has to be another way in there. Because it's all blocked off by that fucking river. Okay, fine. Uh, it's gonna become fucking immaculates, but I probably should end the episode here. So we're back in Silver Glen now. And that's all the time we have for today, guys. Where me and Ken will join the immaculates next episode. So take care, everyone. Bye. Rip.